Hello everyone, Silver Shruck here. Welcome to the Silver Shruck channel. I'm very excited to share with all of you a recent silver pickup. Just yesterday at my LCS, I was able to pick up these four beautiful vintage Canadian made Johnson Matthey one kilo bars. But not all of these kilo bars are created equal. Let me explain. When I walked into my LCS yesterday, the owner had these four bars pulled aside. They were not in the display case along with the rest of the silver. He was gracious enough to let me examine each bar and consider making a purchase. Not being an expert in Johnson Matthey vintage one kilo bars per se, I did ask him if he did any research if these bars were rare, and he said he had looked into it and the bars were not that rare. However, they still carry a premium as they are Johnson Matthey vintage bars. So, I did pay a premium to be able to pick up these four bars, but I did pay the exact same amount for each one of them. Once I got these silver bars home, I did do some research using allinglehard.com and I did find a major variety. You may notice the variety uh, on these bars already and if you don't, don't worry, we're going to get right into that in just a moment. But first, let's start by examining this bar to the far right first. So we can see this bar is definitely Johnson Matthey. The maker's mark is strongly struck on this particular bar. You have a serial number located to the left. There is such a variety with the serial number located to the right. Also other varieties where the serial number is centered in the bottom and so on and so forth. In the center of the bar, it is stamped one kilo. And toward the bottom, you can see three nines plus for three nines fine silver and the Canadian assay mark in a square. The reverse of this bar is quite nice. We have some nice pore marks, some cratering going on. It's what I like about vintage silver is it's all slightly different. There's not uh, two bars that are the same. You're always going to find differences. Now my LCS was right. When I did my research, I found the mintage of this particular bar is 5,000, which is not incredibly rare, but it's not not rare. It's sort of uh, in no man's land. Uh, but 5,000 is, is definitely um, lower mintage than what you're going to find in modern bars. The second bar, same variety. I do have an email into allinglehard.com to ask about the SA mark. That is the only major difference I could find. You can see the SA mark is different from each one of these bars. So you don't see the square surrounding this one. And this is definitely punched in differently on the front. The reverse of this bar is okay, does not have the same pore marks that the first bar has. So another bar with a 5,000 mintage. So moving on to the two bars to the left, let's examine this bar. As you can see, it has the maker's mark towards the top with a little bit more of a weak strike. It is a left-hand serial number variety. And you can see that it says three nines plus and you have the maker's, uh, not the maker's mark, I'm sorry, the SA stamp there to your bottom right. But instead of one kilo spelled out, it says one kg. And that is a major difference. The mintage of this bar is 50. So extremely rare. This is a very rare Johnson Matthew bar. I did try to do some research on uh, eBay and there are no examples to be found which I was not surprised since this bar only does have a mintage of 50 it's going to be very hard to find so there weren't any examples I could find there but you can check this bar out on allinglehard.com yourself and double check my research the reverse of this bar is heavily cratered which I absolutely love some of these craters are kind of deep so really nice pour marks on the reverse and then this bar, same variety, a little bit better of a strike for the Johnson Matthey Maker's Mark in the 1kg. And then some nice cratering on the reverse as well. So very excited for this pickup. I have been stacking and collecting vintage silver for years now, so I do have some experience under my belt. And what I've learned is 
when it comes to stacking vintage silver bars, <clears throat> it's about finding varieties. So just a subtle difference in a silver bar can make a huge difference in mintage numbers as well as rarity. These two bars are very similar. One has a mintage of 5,000, the other has a mintage of 50. So tremendous difference in value. Do you collect vintage silver? You'll have to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching.